Okay guys, right, we are going to do an unboxing and configuration video of the TOC camera, so let's just remind yourselves that the TOC technology is artificial intelligence, it includes the full color ability as well as the active deterrent technology. So of course uh, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this, uh, let's just take a quick look, I'll show the camera there, and of course what we do is let's just take a look at our product code again, so it's the 3549 ASPV, so that's going to be three series, five megapixels, four for gen for gen fourth generation, and then of course including the AI, nine for full color, AS standing for alarm and sound, and PV for active deterrent. Okay, so let's take a little open up here, and then let's just take a look at what's on the inside. So immediately, you straight away you have a user guide on how to install the actual TOC camera. Then of course you have your drill hole guide, so of course that's whenever you put it onto a flat surface you know where the drill holes are going to need to be. So open this up here, then of course on the inside we will have the wall mount plugs and of course the screws. We also have the waterproof connector to make the RJ45 connection safe. And then I guess the actual camera itself. Okay, let's just put that there. Okay, so let's describe this um, camera here. So we can immediately see that we have the 5 megapixel sensor. We also have the TOC blue, blue and red light. And we also have the white light also. Now if I bend the actual camera up, we can see that we have the speaker here. Uh, and then of course the access panel for the micro SD card. Cabling wise, we have the RJ45 for connection, 12 volt DC, alarm input and output. And then of course audio in and out. For the wall mount bracket, we have the PFA 137, and then of course we have some connections in here, and then of course we have the cable mounting, so then that way we can actually put everything on the inside for a tidy installation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this camera up to my switch here, and now we're going to change over to the laptop, and of course we're going to configure this device. Okay. Okay guys, right, we are going to configure our TOC camera now, so just a quick reminder there that it, since it is a front-end AI device, then we should configure front-end. So I'm going to load up my toolbox here now, and within the toolbox I have configuration tool. These are all of the new versions that have been released, and immediately, there we go, we can see straight off the back, this is the actual model number, 3549, and it is uninitialized, okay, so remember, cameras do not come out of the box without a password, okay, so we have to enter one. So, right, okay, so I'm going to click on this device here, I'm going to initialize the device, next, it's going to prompt me for a username and password. I'm going to just use something simple for now. Okay, initialization have, has been successful. Okay, now I can immediately click on this camera. And I'm prompted for the username and password. Okay. Okay, there we are there, camera's installed, no issue. Now, let me just show you a couple of the best parts here. Now, if I go into this camera web page, let me just uh, uh, maximize here. So if I go into this camera web page, we of course obviously have the standard video motion detection that we've always known of. However, if I enable this video motion detection, press on save, I can then click on... As you can see that that's working. Now of course obviously with the video motion detection we can then click on smart motion detection. Now when smart motion detection is enabled for human and a vehicle then of course a smart motion detection will be responsible for how video motion detection works. So of course as you can see here I can only enable the feature. You can't see alarm upload, send email or you know like a trigger alarm output. It's not in this section because once I've configured smart motion detection I go back to video detection and of course now it's being based on those parameters of people or human okay now continuing on if I click on the smart plan here as you can see we have IVS I can click on IVS and press save I can go down to IVS add a set area I'm going to do intrusion intrusion works out well 
click on appear and cross enter and exit for the increased accuracy and right there guys as you can see you have object filtering okay I can select under object filtering human okay now I'm gonna create a box behind me uh, this is quite a high elevation so we'll see if this works okay let's just see at least and I won't have the audio siren go off again as you can see that that's quite loud enough so let's turn that off and then of course white light I will the warning light for flicker let's keep that on so let's press save and I guess we test okay there we go working fine okay okay guys so, as you've seen, Canva, Smart Motion Detection, IVS based on a human on vehicle, we have the siren and we have the light. Okay? Or to follow.